in the news like two days ago, very recently, this plane spotter in Tampa, which is crazy because, I mean, just the concept of somebody filming my takeoffs and landing scares me. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Captain Steve Markovic got AA 590 tire explodes, explodes on takeoff, catches fire, Tampa airports. So we're going to watch his video skid. Is that a Boeing like, tire? Was that a Boeing tire? It was a Boeing tire exploded on, on takeoff and we will make comments as we go. So here we go. Maybe the, maybe the brakes are locked. Uh, so he, he, the, the takeoff is already in progress here. You can see Looks thrust good. reversers are stowed. Yep. We're still in a takeoff configuration, and mm -hmm. if you go look at the ADS-B track, the yep. max speed that the aircraft reached was 153 knots, which Whoa. is all in the mail. What, what's V1 at, you think? Probably in the 140s. So they're above V1? Well, it depends on how heavy they are. It could be if they if were light. Above one, V1? One, I, well, you got to remember it's a reaction time. Three so, seconds. Three yeah. Seconds. So I don't know. Oh. I mean, if they were heavy, it could be really high. Like, I don't remember seven, three numbers, maybe 160, but could be in the 140s, could be in the 150s. Wow. Okay. This isn't a max. So I don't remember. That's I've got, good. I've got new don't numbers. Remember that. In my head. I've got new numbers in my head. Um, 153 could be above V1 in, in the current aircraft that I fly. Could be, but I don't know. All right, here oh. we go. You ready to watch? Ready to watch this? Go. Ah, there goes the tire. Oof. It shreds. Whoa. Whoa. That's and pretty serious. Commentary. So they're you already the, into the. You see the airplane do this? Mm -hmm. It leans. It leans right. Roll the trucks. Roll the trucks. Roll the trucks. <laughs> and of course, we got the uh, dude yelling for. It took up three minutes, by the way, to get the trucks out. But watch how that's pretty close good. to the that's end. Sick. So that's the one board. Oh yeah, they're at the oh, captain's yeah. bar. Talk about Those balance. Those brakes are hot. Those brakes are hot. Oh, Oof. and he clears the runway. Hey, he's a good pilot. Look, look how <laughs> this guy doesn't joke. Yeah. Wow. There you go. With no, oh, with a blown tire. The, open the drink oh, cart right now. Gosh. Okay. Want to watch it one more time? Did they emergency ground aggress? No. No, they didn't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Look at the tire come off. Yeah. So it was a, a recently wow. changed tire too that came apart. Hey, at least the engine. Oh. At least the at least the tire oh. stayed on the airplane. Our flown tire. Roll the trucks. Roll the trucks. No, it didn't. Roll the trucks. If you there, uh, somebody actually sent me a picture, which I don't know if I can share, but it's down to the hub. Like there's okay. nothing left. Of, of either emergency, side emergency. but it, it didn't it didn't drop off like the uh, united flight thing no we'll talk about that off. one here in a minute no it didn't did not uh the wheels did not come off the bus figuratively or literally so skip what do you think about that uh training kicked in i mean uh we, we as we were just talking about so you have what you have v1 vr v2 right so v1 is the max speed you get to Three second reaction, three second reaction time. Make decision to abort and stop in the available runway, which he did. So if he did go over by two knots, there's a pad, right? There's a pad in there, maybe. Well, so because here's the debate I've had with with people, and this is my question. Debate. Did the blown tire cause the rejected takeoff? Because we don't say we're abort for whatever reason in the airlines. It's rejected takeoff. Did the blown tire cause it or was the blown tire a result because to me that's two different things i believe and the reason, the reason yeah. i say that is because typically what the manuals may or may not say is 80 knots is you're going to go for a tire failure and right. the reason for that and we used 100 knots in the t38 if i remember correctly right 100 yeah, knots go yep, for tire yep, 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 yep. in fighter world because they're smaller tires you know it's a little different but 80 knots and the reason you use 80 knots is because below 80 knots, you can pretty much reject for anything. It's a low speed abort, which Light I would on, argue, yes. yep. I would argue low speed aborts are more difficult than high speed aborts. And the reason I argue that is because I had to do them in the sim because I had FO to FO pairing. So I was doing the captain mm -hmm. stuff half mm -hmm. the time and the rejects where it was like, holy crap, I'm struggling to stay on the runway here. We're always below 80 knots mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. one engine, you know, it's, it's just all that 
all that yaw. Mm -hmm. But the um, above eighty knots, they say yeah. typically, and I'm not we're, I'm not trying to crap on this dude or do no, that or no. whoever it is. No. This is just a discussion, right? I, no. We don't know yeah. what happened inside that aircraft. But above 80 knots, the procedure is to take it airborne because braking. So when you blow a tire, the brakes typically are less effective on that side. Uh, in the 737 Boeing jets, if your auto brakes are an RTO of 80 knots, go to idle. It's going to give you full yeah. braking. Reverse thrust. You rejected taking. Yeah. You know, you're, well, you're going to have to do reverse thrust. And your, okay. your numbers are not based off reverse thrust. So if you use reverse thrust, you're actually getting better numbers. Correct. But it is rejected takeoff braking, which is the aircraft is going to give you all the braking it can yeah. within the limits yeah. of the anti-skid system. Yeah. When you blow a tire, you lose that braking capability on that side. That's true. That's true. So what they say is, as, and you get all this extra drag and you don't know if you're on the rim or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. What they mm -hmm. have said is above 80 knots. Mm -hmm. You take it airborne, you burn down fuel or you jettison mm -hmm. fuel or whatever it's going to be mm -hmm. to a lower weight. All right. And that way you can make a more controlled landing, slower speed, and yeah. you're not using auto brakes. You're no longer using the auto brakes. You're going to manually no. brake. No. So below 80 knots, it doesn't matter because they're not, you know, you're not working with that system. You're going to have to manually brake anyway, and you're sure. at a slow enough speed that because right. look how far they had 11,000 foot runway and they made it. To That's the nice. Runway. I mean, that is, That's nice. That is very fortunate. Now with that said, whatever decision that the captain made, mm -hmm. that airplane is safe. Those passengers are safe and Perfect. everybody got to walk off that airplane. So kudos to them, uh, for doing a great job and, and handling class. that because yes. rejected takeoffs, V1 mm -hmm. cuts, mm -hmm. most dangerous things. And you can do in an airliner. That's why we mm -hmm. practice them. That's all that yeah. stuff. Uh, You're especially right. in a 7.3. It doesn't have the, a lot of the automatic stuff that better jets would have. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, speed. I think yeah. you had to manually deploy the speed brake. And then in the airline world, mm. which still drives me nuts because I think this is ancestor worship. And this is the part I'm saying. <laughs> it's, <laughs> not just, it's not just your three-second skid. Yeah. If I am the FO flying, so it's my aircraft, right? Yeah. right. I am not allowed to make a reject decision. Oh, really? I I am not allowed to either say it wow. or do it. Wow. I trained for it in the sim because you have to do it for your type rating. And I've done it huh. because I had to be a seat filler for the in the captain spot. But right. as far as me physically in the right seat saying reject, I have to tell the captain what I see. Correct. And then he or she then they. reject my aircraft. That's the words they say. They say reject my aircraft. So if the FO wow. was flying, you have that whoever notices it first and then reject my aircraft. And the captain, you've got that little buffer built in of the momentary change of air traffic, aircraft control, which it's really not much because the captain's the one with their hands on the throttle, not the FO. For the so, reject. For the whole thing. So between yeah. between eight, between thrust set, so you know the, the yeah. typical thing is toga. So they go toga, take off, go yep. around. Yep. And then it automatically sets whatever your takeoff hour is. And so the yes. pilot monitoring will say thrust mm -hmm. set, make sure it matches the numbers that you're right. expecting. And then right. 80 knots, they say 80 checked. And then to make sure, yeah. you know, both yeah. sides yeah. are work, you know, just mm -hmm. your, your instrumentation. But right. the, from the time that the thrust is set to V1, the captain has their hands on yes. the throttle. Right. Because the captain is the one that's going to do the abort. Even if they Did don't see it. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Does he pull go his ahead. hands off? And he pulls his hands away from throttles at V1, right? Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yes. So that's your signal to go then, right? Yes. You're going. Yes. So, so you think he, in this case, you think he had, he still had his meat hooks on the thing. Just, and yes, the airplane that, settled. I think what that. I think, what I think happened here. And obviously, you know, there's, uh, there yeah. won't be a, like an NTS. I don't know if the NTSB. Uh, they'll, do a report. they'll do something. Yeah. But I think, this reject mm -hmm. captain was still hands on the yeah. throttle reject yeah. my aircraft did it Boom. textbook yeah the only question i have is the did the blown tire cause it or did something else cause it because typically now 
the art like a lock has, break maybe well it could have been something else it could have been yeah. you know because what they always brief the platitude because you know we love platitudes in aviation anytime a captain will come in and they'll be like hey eight, below 80 knots i'm gonna abort for anything right anything yeah. yep. above 80 knots fire failure fear or shear fire mm -hmm. so yeah uh, engine that's obvious yep. engine fire uh, cargo fire some kind of yep. fire mm -hmm. i'm gonna abort up to v1 right and maybe even beyond depending on you know it's a depend it's a depends because the captain right. can make that decision beyond v1 if they believe that it's safer to keep the aircraft on the ground Got engine it. failure you know okay makes sense right if i lose an engine mm -hmm. i'm gonna abort okay yep fear so this is kind of the catch-all and and that's it's a platitude because the book actually says aircraft's inability to fly so if you question the aircraft's ability to fly flight control thing or something yeah. you know it's jammed yes. or whatever yeah but the catch-all is fear because i fear the aircraft can't fly so mm. this could very well be and, and the captain can say well i i didn't know what happened it was listing to the right i heard a big bang i wasn't comfortable taking it airborne we were below v1 i was going to take my chances perfectly legit that's why you got captain's authority yeah. captain can make that decision everybody's yeah. safe i i go back to my original statement that i'm not going to monday morning quarterback this because yep. everybody's safe right this is just a yeah this is the yeah. technique part not the you know we're, we're not saying anybody did anything yeah. wrong here i'm nope. just asking nope. questions people are alive Good. sheer the last one is sheer wind shear. No. so if you get the wind sure. shear, you don't want to take it airborne and wind shear. Yeah. You're going to reject the takeoff all the way up to right. B1 because yep. wind shear's killed a lot of people. And yeah. if you think about another historical example, the Air France Concorde. Good call. Because you don't know when you blow mm. that tire, that's that's the fear, right? You don't know when you yep. blow that tire, did it take, a, take apart the hydraulics? You know, because yep. all that hydraulic stuff under yeah. there, did it damage a flight control surface? Did it damage the flaps? Yeah, you don't, you don't know what it did. And, yep. and, hindsight for us sitting here watching this youtube video is 2020. Yep. Yep. for them it's time compression and it's perfect yep. split second I, I remember the best example of time compression i have was my own v1 cut um in the t38 so in what was that uh, what happened pilot training i got a safety award for it. Oh, so oh, the, bird strike, the bird strike bird strike yeah i took the bird yeah, at rotation job. So we were at wow. rotation in a formation takeoff, wow. compressor stall, right engine in between wow. us. And I remember in my, like when wow. I landed, I could not remember if I tried to reject and then go or if I just went because oh, you, the time you got airborne. Yeah. I took off and flew around. Like it was a full wow. uh, single engine landing. But wow. The time compression was such that my mind went through, okay, I'm going to reject. No, I'm not. I'm going to go. So like time starts to stand still when stuff like this happens. And I 100% guarantee temporal this, distortion. Absolutely. I think that happened. To, I, I would be surprised if it didn't happen here because that adrenaline dump, that's a startle yeah. factor. And so I will not say that the captain made the wrong decision because the right decision saved lives because the alternative could have been much worse. And I think they yeah. did a great job. Yeah. I just, that's why you can't, that's why you can't questions. drink and fly. You can't drink and fly. You can't drink and fly. You can't self-medicate and fly. Eight feet, eight feet bottom throttle, right? Is that still the rule? Eight, it's eight feet? feet. Yeah, it's 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 Not eight uh, hours. Eight feet. Twelve inches bottle the throttle. <laughs> uh, eight feet something. I don't know. There's numbers involved. No, but Unless the guys did a great UK, job. Then it's half of half of that. Yes. Yeah. No, the guys did um, a great job. Hundred percent. Guys or girls? We don't know. I. I people. I don't know. I don't know who did the this. Airmen, you know. air people did a great job. The the, the flight crew saved some lives with this and did a amazing job.